most of Calumet City's flooding and drainage problems occur during and after heavy storms. These can happen at any time, but are more common during the summer. There are many things that can be done to prepare for the storm and the water problem that may follow. Here are some things to do. Keep ditches, drainage swales, detention basins, and storm sewer inlets clear of debris. During a rainstorm, keep tuned to local radio or television stations to see if there is a tornado or flash flooding hazard. Make a record of all your personal property. Go through your basement, if not your whole house, and record what you own. Take photographs or videotapes. Inventory forms are available free for most insurance companies or you can make your own. Do not walk through flowing water. Drowning is the number one cause of flood deaths. Currents can be deceptive. Six inches of moving water can knock you off your feet. Use a pole or stick to ensure that the ground is still there before you go through an area where the water is flowing. Do not drive through a flooded area. More people drown in their cars than anywhere else. Do not drive around road barriers. The road or bridge may be washed out. Stay away from power lines and electrical wires. The number two flood killer after drowning is electrocution. Electrical current can travel through water. Report down power lines to Commonwealth Edison at 1-800-334-7661. That's 1-800-334-7661. Look before you step. After a flood, the ground and floors are covered with debris, including broken bottles and nails. Floors and stairs that have been covered with mud can be very slippery. Be alert for gas leaks. Use a flashlight to inspect for damage. Do not smoke or use candles, lanterns, or open flames unless you know the gas has been turned off and the area has been ventilated. If you have questions on gas, call 1-888-642-6748 or 1-888-NICOR-4U. Carbon monoxide exhaust kills. Use a generator or other gasoline-powered machine outdoors. The same goes for camping stoves. Charcoal fumes are especially deadly. Cook with charcoal outdoors. Clean everything that got wet. Flood waters have picked up sewage and chemicals from roads, farms, factories, and storage buildings. Spoiled food, flooded cosmetics, and medicine can be health hazards. When in doubt, throw them out. Take good care of yourself. Recovering from a flood is a big job. It is tough on both the body and the spirit, and the effects a disaster have on you and your family may last a long time. Keep your eyes open for signs of anxiety, stress, and fatigue in you and your family. Calumet City participates in the National Flood Insurance Program, NFIP. The NFIP makes federally backed flood insurance available for all buildings, whether they are in a floodplain or not. Flood insurance covers direct losses caused by surface flooding, including a river flowing over its banks, a lake or ocean storm, and local drainage problems. The NFIP insures buildings, including mobile homes, with two types of coverage, structural and contents. Structural coverage is for the walls, floors, insulation, furnace, and other items permanently attached to the structure. Contents coverage may be purchased separately, provided the contents are in an insurable building. Mandatory Purchase Requirement the mandatory purchase requirement applies to all forms of federal or federally related financial assistance for buildings located in a Special Flood Hazard Area, or SFHA. This requirement affects loans and grants for the purchase, construction, repair, or improvement of any publicly or privately owned building in the SFHA, including machinery, equipment, fixtures, and furnishings contained in such buildings. Financial assistance programs affected include loans and grants from agencies such as the Department of Veterans Affairs, 
Farmers Home Administration, Federal Housing Administration, Small Business Administration, and Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA. The requirement also applies to secured mortgage loans from financial institutions such as commercial lenders, savings and loan associations, savings banks, and credit unions that are regulated, supervised, or insured by federal agencies such as the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation and the Office of Thrift Supervision. It also applies to all mortgage loans purchased by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac in the secondary mortgage market. How it works. Before a person can receive a loan or other financial assistance from one of the affected agencies or lenders, there must be a check to see if the building is in a special flood hazard area, SFHA. The SFHA is the base 100-year floodplain mapped on a flood insurance rate plan, or FIRM. It is shown as one or more zones that begin with the letter A or V. Copies of the FIRM are available for review in the Calumet City Department of Inspectional Services located at 687 Wentworth Avenue or give them a call at 891-8120-891-8120. Many lenders and insurance agents also have copies. It is the responsibility of the financial assistance agency or the lender to check the FIRM to determine if the building is in an SFHA. If the building is an SFHA, the agency or lender is required by law to require the recipient to purchase a flood insurance policy on the building. The requirement is for structural coverage equal to the amount of the loan or other financial assistance or the maximum amount available for a single family house, $250,000. The mandatory purchase requirement does not affect loans or financial assistance for items that are not covered by a flood insurance policy such as vehicles, business expenses, landscaping, and vacant lots. It does not affect loans for buildings that are not in the SFHA, even though a portion of the lot may be flood prone. While not mandated by law, a lender may require a flood insurance policy as a condition of a loan for a property in any zone on a firm.